is Jesus Christ? What is the gospel? Why does any of it matter to me? Jesus Christ is the Son of the Eternal Father, also known as God. He is our brother, and we are all children of God. The gospel literally means good news. So the gospel of Jesus Christ is literally his good news that he brings to us. So this is the good news. We have all been sent to earth by our loving Heavenly Father for a reason, and he has provided the way for us to return to him completely spotless from all of our mistakes, weaknesses, and sins. How is this possible? By following these principles. First, we must obtain and practice faith in Jesus Christ. When we have faith in Christ, we accept and apply his atonement and his teachings. Faith in Christ leads to action. We want to learn what his commandments are, and then we want to obey them. Second, repent, which means to change. We repent by making changes so that we can become more like Christ. For things that we feel bad about, and we feel that we have upset God and or hurt another person, we can repent by 1. Acknowledging that what we did was wrong. 2. Feel sorry about what we did. 3. Confess our sins to God. 4. Ask God for forgiveness. And 5. When necessary, make things right with whoever we hurt. Third, baptism by immersion. God has always required his children to make covenants. A covenant is a binding and solemn agreement between God and man. Through the ordinance of baptism, for example, we covenant to take upon ourselves the name of Jesus Christ, always remember him and keep his commandments. As we keep our part of the covenant, God promises the constant companionship of the Holy Ghost, a remission of our sins, and being born again. Jesus taught that we must be baptized by immersion for the remission or forgiveness of our sins. Baptism is an essential ordinance of salvation. No person can enter the kingdom of God without being baptized. Little children do not need to be baptized and are redeemed through the mercy of Jesus Christ. They are not to be baptized until they reach the age of accountability, which is eight years of age. Fourth, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Jesus taught that we baptism by water must be followed by baptism of the Spirit, or it is incomplete. Only when we receive baptism and the gift of the Holy Ghost can we receive a remission of our sins and become completely spiritually reborn. The gift of the Holy Ghost is a gift from God. When we enter into the covenant of baptism, we receive this gift by the laying on of hands by people holding the proper authority. Once we are given this gift, that means that we can have the third member of the Godhead with us at all times as long as we are living worthily. This companion will help us make good decisions, keep us out of danger and trouble, and help us know between good and evil if we listen. Fifth, we must endure to the end. This means we must work every day to follow God's commandments, become more like Christ, read our scriptures every day, pray, and attend church regularly, etc. By following the gospel path, we can draw closer to God, conquer temptation and sin, and enjoy the gift of the Holy Ghost more abundantly. As we patiently, faithfully, and consistently follow this path throughout our lives, we will qualify for eternal life.